Hello everyone, my name is Christian. Welcome back to TechPoint. Today our guest is Lorenzo, the CEO and co-founder at Chrono. Hello. Hello. Thank you very much, Christian, for uh, welcoming me. And excited, awesome. to, excited to have you on the podcast. Please tell us, what is Chrono? So Chrono is a sales uh, platform. It helps sales to do better outbound prospecting using data. So what we wanted really to do here is uh, give uh, to the sales a tool that is really easy to use because uh, sales has too many and too complex uh, tools at the moment and that use data to suggest what to do. So we use data that you have in the CRM and other source and also LinkedIn to analyze that and suggest to you what exactly you should do to achieve your target. So it's a easy to use and smart tool altogether to, to B2B sales team. And what is the biggest problem that you're solving? The biggest problem, I think there, there are two, twofold because uh, there is uh, one big problem in sales that is the time that you spend doing something that is not sales. Because according to research like Salesforce or Gong, from 72 to 77 percent of the time of a sales is spent in activities that does not generate revenue. It's like data entry, analysis, yes. they're looking for other things. So basically three, three out of four hours in your, uh, in your job, you are not doing sales. So yes. we want to solve that. And also the other problem is that sales, since they have a lot of data to analysis, they, they don't have the skills or the capacity to analysis, to do the analysis. And we want, thanks to artificial intelligence, uh, use this data to suggest you the best action and to increase the, the conversion. What are the top three features of Chrono? Uh, let me think about, uh, I think our customer will say for sure, the first it's the suggested action and the strategy. So okay. we suggest uh, the best strategy to sales and the actions to do uh, to reach their target. Uh, they love the extension, the LinkedIn extension, they really love. And I think also the internal search is uh, is uh, one of the favorite. Uh, so these three, I, I, I think it's uh, the, the most used and loved feature of our tool. That's awesome. And what are the use cases of, of the product? Who can use it? Uh, basic B2B companies that uh, in um, now we are focused on Europe, but B2B companies, they want to grow or structure their sales. So now we are focused on companies that are from 25 to 500 employees. Mm -hmm. But in the future, we want also to extend that. But uh, at the moment, I would say from team of sales B2B that, that, that does act actively selling and not bound uh, from five sales, uh, even even less until 50 we can uh, we can serve this segment very well. I understand, I understand. And um, I'd love to hear your favorite success story of a, of a happy customer. Uh, I think my favorite, even because I travel with them, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> it's WeRoad and okay. uh, it's a B2C company, but they opened B2B and mm -hmm. they were looking for a tool to structure the sale and grow. And we are very happy because not only the success, the, this, this project about B2B had success in Italy uh, mm -hmm. and they use Chrono, but now we are, they are extending in all the other country. So Spain and UK in first and also in Germany and uh, they will use Chrono in all the countries. So for us, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's very pride and we are very happy that they succeed. Fantastic. And uh, what integrations does Chrono offer? Uh, Chrono integrate with the two main CRM uh, in the market, Salesforce and AppSpot. We will integrate soon also PipeDrive and mm -hmm. with the mail. Uh, but also we work very close with LinkedIn since our extension brings uh, the functionality of Chrono on LinkedIn. And also you can automate a lot of data entry thanks to very, really easy to use extension that grab data from, uh, from LinkedIn. Awesome. And how about the pricing? What is the pricing? Pricing, uh, it's... Uh, it's 80 euro for a month for user. So it's a subscription, uh, typical. So based on the user that you have. Uh, but now, yeah, we, we are offering, since we started uh, uh, only in October to sell actively our product, still it's, uh, we can offer some discount to do to startups above all, because we want also to, to help them to grow. So, uh, but it's 80 euro a month. Yeah, that's appreciated. How competitive is your space? Uh, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty competitive. So the space, it's not, uh, let's say a green field, as you know, there are a lot of tools, uh, uh, in the market, but what we saw that there is a lot of space because companies, even in these, uh, 
troubled time, in this time of slowdown, are still looking for selling better, selling in a new way because it's very hard. And yes. if you think about that, selling is the first things for a company. They cannot say, no, we will not sell. They can, they can say, we will not give lunch to our employee. We, they can say <laughs> a lot of things, but they for sure cannot sell. So we see the market is really booming and a lot of solutions are growing, but uh, obviously we think uh, that there is a lot of space, a lot of possibilities above all for the IE uh, boom that uh, you have in this moment. Yes. How did you come up with the idea for the for the product? With the idea, uh, we worked many years in B2B sales, uh, me and my co-founder. Uh, we work in a corporate like Salesforce, uh, Viva, Microsoft, and it's fast growing startup. Uh, so we did sales a lot and we never had a tool that really we liked to sell because we were thinking that there were a lot of data outside but few tools really use data to give it to you suggestion. So we had the, this idea and uh, now we are trying to put in practice. Okay, that's awesome, that's awesome. Um, how big is your team right now? Right now we are four co-founders plus uh, two developers, but we, we are hiring, so we will be 10 uh, by the end of the year. Uh, we plan to hire a sales also, a customer success uh, and also a marketing uh, person. So we will grow in the next month. And the uh, last week you announced your uh, funding round. Please tell us more about it. <laughs> uh, we announced last week, so we're very happy about that yep. because uh, it means that we found a lot of uh, found that believe in us. So that's, uh, that's very nice. And uh, we closed uh, our pre-seed, so half a million and uh, was leading by SF SFC Capital from London, mm -hmm. uh, together with Atico Ventures in Barcelona, Digital Magics in Italy, and Startup West Guys in Estonia. So it was a pretty international round, and that's very good because we want to be European, and that yes. really helps us to, to do, be seen as European and, uh, and ambitious. I'm super happy for you. What has been your biggest challenge since uh, starting the company? I think the first challenge that we found that when uh, we did the first version of the product, so the MVP, we build a really, we, we build a really easy, let's say, um, rigid process in the tool. So we think that everyone has to adapt with uh, our way of selling. That was a little bit innovative, maybe too much. And mm. so what we are doing in this second version also, it's uh, give more flexibility to, to, the, to the sales and to the company to decide the, their process and it's working uh, a lot. So that's, that's one thing that uh, we did uh, in a okay way. Mm -hmm. How did you find your uh, first uh, customers? First customers outbound. So we started to use our platform. <laughs> of course to do in a bound <laughs> and uh, we started to contact the companies that uh, uh, more or less uh, we knew in Italy because we are four co-founder Italian. So we started from Italy mm -hmm. and this uh, series B company, Campai, uh, was the first that uh, that answer. We did the demo and they decided to become customers. So uh, they are our first customer. And uh, what are you planning for the go to market strategies? To get uh, to get uh, more clients to get more clients uh we obviously we continue to use chrono internally yep. we our co-founder and also the sales team we will use chrono to do outbound uh, we will grow also the marketing activities mm -hmm. and also we want to create a brand that differentiate from the other because we want to be known uh as point of reference for sales so we organize meetup uh, in uh, in italy uh, he had a great success. Uh, now we are doing this, this tonight in Barcelona also, and we replicate also in London. So we want to create a community of sales that also uh, see Chrono as point of reference about outbound sales. So that's also part of our strategy. So you starting the started doing this side events from this size. Wow, <laughs> well, because most companies do it after. Uh... They have uh, some brand awareness after Series B or C or... <laughs> we had uh, 100 people in Milan and uh, we and we didn't have take the, the round, so yeah. 
And, um, good, impressive. Yeah, would you recommend it to other startups? It depends. Uh, depends your strategy. I wouldn't suggest. Uh, it depends your target. I think that there is a lot of space uh, since uh, sales software is growing to put together people on this uh, this community. For example, it will be more difficult for other startups that work with it, it manager. I think so. It depends. It depends on the target. But uh, if uh, by network you can reach the decision maker and also influence the decision maker in some way, it is important. Yeah, I, I think uh, I think it's important. Depends how you sell and other because uh, now we can do everything digital. But we, I think we are start realizing that the real interaction between person, the real contact is uh, invaluable because if you see face by face, it's true that the relation with you change if I exactly. see you only on Zoom and uh, <laughs> or Google Meet or, or other. Yeah. So it, it's important. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And I love to hear your main vision for Chrono. Uh, short term vision. We want to grow our presence in Europe. So plan to reach 100 customers by the end of this year. And next year, we want to have our seed round mid-year. In five years, we see like we want to be the most used and loved tool by sales in Europe. And so, yeah, pretty ambitious, yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and I love to hear your story. So how I started your career? Um, I started my career after university. I decided to move in Belgium. And there I found a very fast growing startup, Team Leader. And I started to grow the Italian market. So at the beginning, I did everything from, from scratch, from translation to marketing to customer success. And step by step, we, we grew the team. The team uh, became of 12 people. We moved again to Italy. We structured the partnership, all the sales department and everything. It was very nice uh, uh, experience and very enjoyable. And after I went to corporate in Salesforce in Dublin. And so I, I continue selling CRM because it, <laughs> team leader as well was a CRM, but from the, let's say, Ferrari of the CRM. So I learned a lot and yes. now I want to build something that is mine. So that's why, uh, because I'm, I'm more a builder. So I, I, I really enjoy what I did in team leader that I built a market. I build everything from scratch and now I want to replicate, but with something that is, uh, that is mine. So, so, <laughs> so from startups, you, you got into corporate and then again into, into building a startup. Yeah, you have to know a little bit of everything to understand what you prefer, I think. So absolutely. But in Salesforce, I had a great experience because I think it's one of the best uh, place uh, in which you can sell because they are really a great sales machine and uh, you really learn a lot every day. So it's really important. Definitely, definitely. And how about the startup? Did, it, uh, uh, did you exit it or what was the, the story of the st first startup? And the first step, uh, it was not mine. I joined as an early founder, but I only take care of Italian market. At the end, yeah. I was in Belgium for one year and after I moved in Italy. So I unfortunately, I was not the founder, but I was one of the first employee. So still a uh, good experience. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very good experience because I see the, the series A, the series B and the series C. So I oh, experienced wow. uh, uh, all the growth stage and it's really good to see that uh, that kind of uh, grow because now I have, I am in mind how, how it the was. challenges, the yes. opportunities and everything. And did you also had some uh, shares in the company? Uh, stock, the stock option, but uh, yeah, now some. I sold. Yeah, it's good, it's good, <laughs> of course. And uh, I'd love to hear your best piece of advice for a starting salesperson. Starting salesperson, uh, I would say the best advice is uh, just just go because you you don't have university to learn sales and everything. It's just a career that you have to start, and sometimes uh, can be hard at the beginning. But I think it's one of the a uh, job in which you learn more in a shorter time, and also it can guarantee you quite a, a big salary be a salesperson. So. It's really interesting for that, uh, that part, but also the learning part, you can really learn a lot about, about the, the business overall. And it's really interesting. A lot of people are, are scared because you have pressure It's true because in sales, yes. you have to reach the target. Uh, and so it's not some, it's some, if you are a person that it's easy to stress, uh, I would say, think about that 
but I think if you want to learn and and, and uh, grow, it's a really great place to to be now. I think above all in software in B two B SaaS now. Yeah, I think there are a lot of great places uh, how to sell. So exactly. Do you have any tips for uh, first time speakers at uh, conferences or events? Uh, events, uh, I I attend quite a lot. I really enjoy South Summit recently, mm-hmm. and for sure I will go to uh, I will go to Web Summit and uh, SaaS Talk in Dublin. Uh, I cannot miss that. And <laughs> we'll uh, that. slash and slash in uh, I think that these in the in the winter slash Web Summit and SaaS Talk are the main for uh, startup and B 2 B SaaS. <laughs> I think right yeah. Up. Thank you so much for sharing. And I love to hear your favorite SaaS product apart from Chrono. I know you love it, but uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Slack. I used Slack. in since the beginning because it makes sim- it made simple something that was complex and also fun. So I really love from the first moment and you can integrate with a lot of things. So Slack for sure, it's uh, yeah, it's uh, let's say my favorite tool. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is there anything else that you want to mention on the podcast? Uh, no, I want to say also what I learned uh, in the first month of a startup. That sure. for me, it's really important. If uh, if some other wants to do startup, the really important things is to be is to start. If you have a vision, uh, it's better to try because if even if you try and fail, you learn a lot. So you have to try because otherwise. There, you have no chance to succeed. And so that's one of the big learning. And also you have to test things. Most of the time you will fail, you get, get, get a no, but in this way you learn, you learn, you learn, and you becoming better and then not become a, a yes in the next, uh, next version. So I think it's really important to try and keep going to the startup. So they are, are really the most important things. Absolutely. Thank you for joining. I wish you all the best. And uh, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And speak to you soon. Bye bye.